I'm Nina Gasperos uh, from the Mariano Marcos State University. I'm currently the Dean of the College of Computing and Information Sciences. It's actually the newest college of the university. Okay, uh, through the leadership of our university president, uh, there are actually several initiatives that have been uh, implemented in the uh, in MMSU particularly um, that contributes to the attainment of the SDGs. These initiatives have led MMSU to be among the top Philippine HEIs that are ranked in the 2022 and 2023 TH impact uh, rankings. Those that I have been mainly involved in uh, includes projects uh, that are relevant to SDG 4, that's uh, quality education, and SDG 9, that's on industry innovation and infrastructure. Um, to foster quality education, uh, innovation, and transform our educational system uh, to be able to respond to the needs of Industry 4.0 in um, the academe, particularly in MMSU, uh, we have developed the MMSU 4.0 Framework and Roadmap. It actually has um, six major components uh, covering four pillars of digital transformation. That's culture, human capital, process, and innovation. So as director of the Futures Thinking and Strategic Foresight before, and now the founding dean of the College of Computing and Information Sciences, I was involved in the creation of the framework, uh, also in the crafting and implementation of ICT project proposals that contributes to the realization of the set targets uh, in the roadmap. So these projects uh, range from research, um, smart campus, ICT infrastructure development, some are into system design and development, and also capacity building of our stakeholders. And uh, through these projects as well, if I may mention, um, the state-of-the-art facilities and technologies uh, in MMSU, including the Center for Flexible Learning, data analytics uh, facilities, smart technology laboratories for extended reality, IoT, and modeling and simulation, and also high-flex rooms were established. Um, so, um, relevant to uh, the attainment of the SDGs, um, these initiatives that we have done so far uh, related to MMSU 4.0 have led uh, MMSU to be ranked as top four in the 2022 and top three in the 2023 uh, WURI rankings, uh, or what we call as the World University Rankings for Innovation. So uh, for WURI, um, as compared to THE, URI, on the other hand, is a global ranking uh, that assesses higher education institutions' um, contributions to industry and society. So, um, another thing is, uh, um, on, on, on extending to community, I also had the opportunity to work with uh, different government agencies and uh, provide technical assess assistance to them uh, through various funded projects. Uh, like uh, we also we had the previously we had the digital cities for um, the provincial government of Ilocos Norte. Uh, that's actually a project uh, under the ICD, and um, also the smart and sustainable cities of uh, DOST. Uh, with that, we are working with the city government of Batac. Uh, basically, my profession calls for it. So as an academic, we are actually like bound not only to share our expertise uh, through instruction, but as they would always say, uh, when you are at the academe, uh, you also have to uh, share your expertise um, through research uh, and extension projects. And even sometimes for others, uh, even on um, the production. So yeah, so I would like to believe that um, through the MMSU 4.0 initiatives, um, we have improved 
the teaching and learning experience of our stakeholders and also contributed to the provision of quality education to make our students um, future ready. I think one of uh, the main challenges uh, for academics like me um, with respect to you know, the implementation of sustainable development projects uh, would be uh, uh, the funding. Uh, I think it's always a challenge for us. And how did we overcome it? Um, um, that is by, of course, partnering with uh, different funding agencies. Uh, we also collaborate with partners um, from the industry uh, here and uh, across the globe. So those are some of the strategies that we have been doing in uh, MMSU to be able to implement uh, sustainable development projects. So uh, to expand the impact of our initiatives, uh, we collaborate with public and private agencies um, in the country and even across the globe. For example, uh, to realize the different targets in our MMSU 4.0 roadmap, uh, such as uh, the upgrading of facilities and capacity building of our stakeholders. We work in partnership with government agencies like CHED, um, the ICT, and the OST, and of course with our uh, industry partners. Um, they support us by providing funding and also with uh, technical experts. Um, also, uh, to further our reach, uh, that is to uh, be able to reach uh, the community, we also implement uh, collaborative research and extension projects with local government units and other academic institutions. Uh, for example, we extend our digital transformation initiatives and technical expertise to the community by working with the city government of Bata, uh, where MMSU uh, main campus is based, and also with the Department of Education Schools of Division of Ilocos Norte, and of course uh, with the provincial government of Ilocos Norte and other agencies. advance sustainable development in the Philippines, I would say that the role of women is uh, vital. Um, in the 2022 fact sheet on women and men in the Philippines by the PSA, um, the proportion of women in managerial positions is actually 53%. And there are 29% seats held by women in LGUs. Also, there are 28% national uh, parliament's positions held by women. So this figure is actually the notes that women are represented and empowered to create and implement policies and programs that promotes the attainment of sustainable development goals in the country. So yeah, they play a very important role in advancing the sustainable development in our country. Um, if I may borrow the famous uh, slogan from a famous brand, um, I would say, just do it, set your goals and make it happen. Don't let others um, define what you can do as a woman. So that's the advice I would like to give to fellow Filipina like me, who are in the ICT field and in the academy. Thank you.